Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, my YouTube photography channel. Uh, now for today's video, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of a challenge video. Um, over these last few weeks, I've been seeing some really cool wildlife photography. Um, a week or so back, it was National Wildlife Photography Day. So I went into a little bit of a rabbit hole, but uh, then I decided to, uh, to kind of challenge myself to see if I can create some really cool uh, wildlife photos just with my iPhone. Now I'm not gonna go out to a, to a safari, but I'm gonna go to the, uh, the Los Angeles uh, Zoo and see what I can get. Now I'm just gonna bring my iPhone and then this. This is a, uh, a telephoto lens uh, attachment for your iPhone. It was only about 80 bucks. Um, I'll, I'll throw the link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I, th I think with this, we're gonna, we're gonna get some really cool perspectives, not just do the, the typical photos that everyone does. This is gonna be unique, this is gonna be different. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what I can come up with. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, um, it was hot. So I am, I'm done, I am done for the day. Uh, I already left, got some coffee, and now I'll let you know how it went. So there, there'll be a couple different things. First, I'm gonna discuss the issues. Now there was definitely a lot of issues, all stemming from the telephoto lens. Um, and I'm also gonna talk about the process of how I actually took these photos. All right, now for the, the issues. The, the biggest issue was the telephoto lens and the shakiness of it. Now walking around, I didn't bring a tripod. I didn't bring anything extra besides my phone and that lens. Um, I didn't know if I was allowed to bring in a tripod or anything, but definitely if you're gonna shoot photos like this, I would bring a monopod. I would bring a monopod or, or tripod, maybe like a compact one, but I would definitely bring a monopod. So the whole time, uh, it was heavy too. So the whole time, my hand was shaking. It was very hard to focus while my hand was shaking, but I think towards the end, uh, I think I got a hang of it. Right now for the uh, for the process. So the telephoto lens itself hooks on. Um, you could hook on to each one of the lenses. And so one, once it's hooked on, the process of taking a photo is, uh, it's a little complicated. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is, uh, is, is focus lock and exposure lock. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold down on the photo and then either drag it up or down depending on the exposure that you want. And then after that, you're gonna have to uh, change the focal length on the actual lens itself. So there's two separate focal things that are going on. Uh, if you don't do both of them, it'll be slightly out of focus because the phone is constantly readjusting. It's kind of confused when uh, a lens attachment is on. 
So you have to, you have to make sure that you focus the camera first and then you're adjusting uh, the actual lens attachment. Now, as far as the photos themselves, uh, I shot in live mode the entire time because of how jittery my hand was and how jittery it is to take these type of photos. Uh, so shot in live mode, um, and that kind of guaranteed that I at least get like one good frame out of it. Uh, that was clutch. Now the overall experience was fantastic. It was really cool to, uh, to challenge myself and try to get new and different things with uh, with minimal gear. All right, that is it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, make sure to like, subscribe. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Peace.